Right guys, Mark Crossfield here, and I love these lessons. With Game Golf, I've given two lucky winners um, who won prize on Twitter, put forward by Game Golf, to come to Vegas, meet me, and have a lesson where I dialed into their Game Golf stats to try and help them move their stats. Um, you're going to now see the live lesson that I did with the, with the winners over in Vegas. There's also going to be follow-ups to this video um, showing you if we did actually move the stats or not, which obviously Game Golf will deliver those numbers. What I love about these is it's a great way for me to show you guys how coaches and students alike should be using products like this to help you lower your scores and work on the right aspects of your game. Let's get stuck in. Right, so we're looking at Brandon's uh, Game Golf stats here. Uh, what the system is fantastic at doing is allowing us to really filter down and drill down into some of your game. I've never played on a golf course with you, but with Game Golf as a coach, I can kind of dial in to see what you're doing on the course a little bit, which is what I love with this as a coach uh, and with the student. So you mentioned your approach plays letting you down. You want to improve. Um, exactly. Your approach. You've said you were leaving them short. You find you come up short quite a little bit. Yep. Uh, instantly, as a coach, that makes me think of strike. And as I mentioned, that you said it's something you feel you catch them a little fat sometimes. Yes, exactly. Um, so if we drill down into some of the numbers here, if we look from 125 yards to 150 on the approach part of the scoring game uh, on the Game Golf app here, uh, he's hitting 38% of the greens between 125 and 150. That can be improved all day long and you can see your your miss is definitely more on the short than it is long six percent short to four percent long no particular pattern left and right i mean even though i mean it's, it's 12 percent left six percent right um so you're definitely you're missing left more but that's not something you pick pulse. up on you yeah that's say, that pull that yeah. i talk about i think yeah yeah okay but it, you you definitely mention the strike short than you mention left and right right a lot more. the the strike is really what's limiting because i often feel for lots of people if you get them pin eye all the time then they don't start seeing left and right hardly at all right um because they're scoring well they've got a basic chip on from the side they're not coming out of the front bunker or landing in that lake short, that kind right. of thing. Um, now what happens is we drill up the stats, if you like, so we go to 150 to 175, 35% greens hit, massive improvements for your handicap um, set, that needs to go up. Um, and then if we go up again, 175 to 200, 37% again, uh, and again, we're getting misses short, aren't we? Yep. Again, is that strike? I mean, 200, 225 also. Um, Zero percent. Yeah, no percent. Right. Uh, and 57% what, short. Yes. We need to move improve strike. Right. We're going to get out there and see if we can get Brandon uh, striking the ball. Just sit out in the middle of the club. Come on, let's do it. So your game golf stats, Brandon, it was... It was the greens in rag, wasn't it? And that you were kind of missing short. Was it left or right now? I can't remember. You were short. We're a bit of a mixture, actually. Wasn't yeah, it? it's, it's a but lot it's of It's always short. Yeah, and those are usually strike related, like yeah. heavy shots that don't get the full distance. Yeah. Um, I mean, when we compared ours, I think I was around 80%. Yeah. Uh, 125 to 150, where you were down at 57. Right. And then when we went to the 175 yardage to 200. I think it was, was 37 I was like 37 to my 67. Like 60. Yeah, right. Um, uh, playing off four plays with a good standard, but those four shots are going to be two of those coming up short. Well, if you hit four shots coming up short and only get up and down on two of them, right. and I'm only hitting one, right. you know, there's two or three shots instantly going there, isn't there? Yep. For me, absolutely. Fury off zero to you off a four or five, what have you. Go on, let's hit a few more. So anything above the red line on a mat is going to be slightly fat. Mm -hmm. And the clubs are so weak off the top part. The right. manufacturers are not attacking the top part. They're attacking uh, the toe in here when they try to always get below the red line, which is why they have slots. Like Taylor may put slots on things. Right. They put them in the top, there's at the bottom. Right. Um, because they understand that a fat shot, what can a club do to help you with a flat, fat, a fat shot? We can't do anything. Right. So why market that? Right. They want you not to hit a fat shot. A fin shot, millions of people are hitting them all over the world. So if they can produce a club that helps them with fin shots, they're going to sell loads. Um, so we need to get you out of the area of the club that no one can help you with. Right. Basically, they're short. You know, out of those shots, you're hitting two full distance, and the rest are all coming up short. Yep. 
Um, Which explains that's two out of six, I think. Yeah, it right? was, yeah. So that's 37%. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that game golf stuff's good, isn't it? It's unbelievable. <laughs> Tells it's, the truth. It's stop, a truth teller. Stop telling me the truth, you machines. <laughs> um, angle of attack, seven down. Yep. And we've talked a bit about that because you've had some lessons. Um, Brandon's quite active. You think about golf, you're around golf, and you play with lots of good players, which is great. How often are you hitting balls every week? Uh, at least once a week. Great. Try to I try to get out a couple times a week. Great. So because because changing strike that is an important question. I get some people come for lessons. They play once a month. They're busy and, yeah. they, and they want to. I see it strikes the problem. I think oh, you, you don't want to come to me. More. You need to go and speak to your family. You might get right. some more time or change your job. <laughs> yeah, right. Because there's a limit to what you can do. Playing them out, you're playing. You can move this and having seven down is making me feel nervous when you're on the grass. Like, if we put a bucket of balls down there and we're going to play in a big tournament, you warming up, you're going to hit a couple of fats. You're oh, going to yeah. be anxious and you're going to duff a couple. Yep. Um, Always do. Now, you have had a go at changing that, haven't you? I've tried to, yeah. But okay. it's, it, it's a tough thing to change. Yeah, so that also tells me that I'm going to have to use, I think, and from speaking to you, um, I'm going to have to use quite big language. So what I'm, I'm going to have to be quite aggressive with what I, I, I can't go, we'll try this and I hope it helps because I think you've tried lots of really good things. So we're going to like have a go at this. Okay, sounds good. Gonna get into this, Matthew. Are you ready for this? <laughs> what do you reckon we can get that down to? Uh, three. Yeah, three or four is a total yeah. success. Yeah. yeah. If I can get you three or four like on order and, I, and then you hit one and it's not and you go, oh no, that one's not right, that's what I want to hear. Yeah. So right. you can start. So, so you it. start going. Oh yeah, I can feel that was not yeah. what you're telling me to do. Right. That's when we've won. Because okay. then like, that means that you go away, from and you keep getting better. Right. You don't need me to keep saying the sentence. Right. Because um, the rest of the numbers are pretty controlled. You like hitting a fade. You said that inside. You're 2.8 from out to in with a face averaging 2.5 open to that 2.8. Um, lying at zero, clubs are lying good, so you're going to leak a couple it's, to the it's, right. It's one degree custom flat. Yeah, which I would. That's perfect. That's, that's a good. Oh, I'd put you there all day long. 20, uh, 25 degrees aloft, delivering the loft quite nicely. Um, that, that angle of attack needs to be cut. If you didn't catch it fat, I wouldn't care about that. Right. So it's not a right and a wrong. You catch it fat, not controlling low point with a seven down. Yeah, like I could. That might make that make me feel a bit nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's try it then. I need to challenge your understanding or ideas of what up and down is and how you control it. Because I don't think you can control it yet. Because you've had, I mean, Joe's a great teacher, knows what he's on about. Um, you know, you just need to find a sentence that makes you trigger a control of it. Um, I want you to do this. And you're going to hit some crap shots doing this. Okay. <laughs> Everyone hits it like a dog normally, yep. just at the start. Okay? Yep. I want you to go normal backswing, and I want you to drop your club here, like almost parallel to the ground, and then just spin it out in front of you. Okay? Yep. So I want you, so would that be a flatter or more upright swing? Flatter. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people would call that flat. Flat, right. Okay. Yeah, um, so here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But if I was to swing, I could hit from here any angle of attack still. Right. So by calling it flatter, that doesn't mean it has to relate to up or down. Right. And it doesn't have to relate to par fiver. Okay. But some people link them. Right. So it is flatter in the sense that if to the ground at this point the club is flatter there, right. but it, it doesn't have to affect any of the angles. What tends to happen when people present those numbers is when you get them to do what I asked them to do there, the angle of attack often changes to become more flatter. And they tend to hit the ground first a bit as well, which is not great for you because you already catch them a bit flat. They hit the ground first on a flatter uh, angle of attack, which means their better strikes are not out the top of the club ever. They're always on the red line, the middle bit, and slightly below it. Yeah. So show me a practice swing. Okay, up to the top and stop. Stay there. And then spin it around you. I don't want the follow through going, I, I want it coming. So it's coming so from back there left. and in here. Okay. So basically you need to feel like, think about angle of attack, look. Think if you were to hit the ball like this, yeah. what would your angle of attack be? Zero. Of course it would. So I'm trying to get you to get closer to that. OK? 
gotcha. Because we know where zero is, we've just agreed where zero is. So why don't we get you closer to zero? God, drop it back there more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to hit these so bad. At the start. <laughs> Not being crude, but one thing that makes this harder is your size. Yeah, right. Because you are constantly trying to get away from yourself. Yeah, and that, Where I'm that makes on that you too. feel already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, we all are, I think. Um, so coming around here for you is instantly going to feel more constricted. Right. Okay, 7.5 down. So that's still. Didn't change. Didn't move. Five down. <laughs> that was close. It but felt closer. Five, that was. Couple more. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Oh, we got a winner in that, don't you think? Five. Better. The shots just, I'm yeah. not standing there waiting for a fat. I'm like standing there thinking, this is probably going to be quite neat. Because mm. your other numbers are really good. Your path and your face to path. You've got them, you're owning them. So your angle of attack is owning you. And you can see that on your game golf stats. You can just see it on those facts coming up short. Right, yep. I mean, I've played in America a little bit and courses here, England are quite different, they're older. So unless you play a really good course, you don't have to keep the ball in the air. Right. So you can you fat can play it and on bounce the on. Right. When we come and play here, they're not you've got to, they put water in the front and there's right. lakes everywhere. Yeah, right. What's that doing there? Yeah. And then there's, but there's proper built up greens. Our greens aren't built off and on the old course in England, they're just there. Right. And then they put a bunker like it's naturally cut through. Right. These are purpose built. People catchable fat. They put bunkers there. Right. You know, so you'll get punished. If we can get you not fatting them, you'll see those stats move on your game. You'll just like move, move one short rest all on the green. Right. We're coming down. Your handicap will come down. Sounds good to me. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. One shot. Six. Okay. Take it but very, and that's what will happen. I often don't like it at the start, unless they change the numbers, but I don't like it if you give them a thought and they start hitting it a bit better, but the number doesn't change that much. Right. Because I know if I walk away, thanks, good lesson, bye, that I'll come back tomorrow and you won't be any better because you're still seven down. Right. It's just I've said something and you feel a bit better at that moment. Right. So even though you are hitting them a bit better, you're getting closer to the red, not quite as high. Um, I want that at five tops. Okay. So you're just you're very quickly going to go back to that. That's seven. right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Don't don't get seduced by good shots. Keep trying to hit zero. Okay. So a five should be like the worst. Yes. There. You want threes and fours. Absolutely. Seven down. Yeah. Let's have the practice swing again. Okay. <laughs> No, that's good. I reckon if we got a true reading there, four down. Four. <laughs> <laughs> so that, those Do were the again. awful shots you yeah, were talking yeah. about. Yeah, you said you were going to hit bad. I don't ones. want you to hit good shots. I want yeah. you to control angle of attack. That lets me see what we can do with you. Right. So when he gets it where I want him to get it, he can't hit it. So I'm wrong. Actually, I might need him at five or six. Right. So let's just shave one and a half off. So I don't know what will work for you right. until you do it. Yeah. This it, otherwise, we're guessing. Right. Hmm. Four. Oh. But it's four, but your club head speed 68. You present, you had 83. Yeah. Right. So we get a massive tick, but then we get a massive. Uh, uh. Right. So you don't get cut if you go to fall down, but you start swinging at 68 miles an hour. You go up. Right. You're better off hitting seven down and keep the speed's got to be in there. Right. I want you to use the Mr. Wooden and around as a tool to find fours and zeros. And just try and blend Those two the two parts. sentences as much as possible with the idea that speed stays up there when you practice. Okay. So okay. trying to practice hand of attack. I would tote in a bucket of balls, I would definitely just hit a couple like this. And that's just so zero. Right. Just feel hitting balls at that zero, that zero, and then try and hit some shots where it feels more like you can put the speed up, but retain a bit of that zero. Yeah. Mr. Wooden and around is your reset button. It's your 
get you to your lowest denominator and then go back up from there. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Just, yep. uh, I mean, if you can, how skilled, the question you should be asking yourself is how skilled can I get at being Mr. Wooden around and get speed? Right. Yeah? The more you practice it, the more your speed should go up, really. Yeah. Right. Because it'll start feeling more normal. Yeah. Right. And your, and your, maybe your relationship to, yeah. to where speed comes from in your brain will change. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go Mr. Wooden around. I have no control of face the path. That's Mr. Wooden and around. And I was swinging at 80 miles an hour. That's zero, right? Uh, my path, I was three down. But attack angle was? No, attack angle, oh yeah, attack angle, sorry, yeah, it was yours. Attack angle was zero. Eight from the inside, face 15, close the path. Give me three or four goes, I would be able to fix those numbers as well. Right. But I swung at 80 miles an hour and I was zero, okay? I'm now going to do my normal relationship to swing, speed, hit. Toey push. I'm losing nine miles an hour from extreme wooden around to full swing. Okay. Your full swing was nine slower? Nine, nine faster. faster. Nine faster, okay. Okay. You were 86 going down to 68. 18. Right. 18? Yeah. I'm rubbish at maths, but your percentage loss is far greater than mine there, isn't right. it? Right, yeah. So the way I interpret the sentence is not, I'm not, right. I'm sacrificing nine miles an hour. That's not much. You're sacrificing 18 miles an hour to do the sentence. Right. Does that make any sense? Yeah, that's making a lot of sense. So your relationship to speed is different to mine. I feel I can still swing quite fast doing a stupid swing. Right. And it sounds silly, but I get behind a tree where you can't go there. Right. And I'll still hit a seven iron. Right. Because I'll go there and I'm still getting, I know I'm not dropping massive dub head speed. Right. So the tree is not in my, it's in my way, but I can still produce a swing that's the same as when I put all my levers in. Right. Trouble is we give you that thought and you relate it to no speed. I don't as much. Right. Again, there's another skill, isn't there? That's right. We'll get out. We need an umbrella. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always, and see you soon.